What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey, my name's Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review. Today we're going to be looking at Compass Box Spice Tree. Stick around. So we've got a Compass Box with us today. Compass Box is a pretty well-known brand. They're known for producing sort of like high-quality premium blends. Now, I'll admit this is not a brand that I know very well. This is actually the first bottle I've ever bought from them. Uh, what we're looking at today is called Spice Tree. Spice Tree is a blended malt, which means we don't have any grain whiskey in here. So the brand Compass Box was established in the year 2000. It was founded by a guy named John Glazer. Uh, Spice Tree was actually one of their first really big success stories. This one came out in 2005 uh, to pretty rave reviews. A lot of people liked it. It was a pretty hyped up whiskey. Unfortunately, that first round of Spice Tree releases did not last long. It got pulled from the shelves, I think, within a year of its release because it violated the terms of what constituted a whiskey, according to the Scotch Whiskey Association. The reason this got pulled is because Compass Box was using staves, French oak staves, inside of their barrels. Now, staves, if you don't know what they are, for lack of a better description, you're basically just putting some pieces of wood inside of your barrels. The idea here is that you're going to have more interaction between the whiskey and the wood. It'll have a fuller, more rich, more intense flavor. Um, however, this was deemed illegal according to the Scotch Whiskey Association. They said it was a violation of traditional practices and the entirety of interaction between your whiskey and the wood should be between the whiskey and the cask itself. Staves are a no-go. So this got pulled just a year after its release in 2006. Now, luckily enough for us, eventually this did get a re-release and they had to change their casking process in order to do that. No more staves involved. What they did is they got French oak heads coopered onto their barrels. So after that, the SWA left them alone, at least with regards to Spice Tree. Now, they did have more run-ins with the SWA over the years for various reasons that we won't get into because we're here to talk about Spice Tree, but definitely not a conventional brand and they're definitely in defiance of sort of like the traditionalists within the whiskey industry. Now getting back on track, Spice Tree, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be a blended malt, which means we don't have any grain whiskey in here. Uh, Compass Box, kind of a cool brand. They do believe in transparency. For a lot of their blends, they'll actually tell you what's in it. So we have kind of a cool bottle here with an interesting backstory. That being said, it is still a blend, so I was initially kind of hesitant to pick it up just because I am a single malt snob. I'll admit it, I don't see blends as being on the same level in the same category as a nice single malt. But you got to try more to know more. Who knows, maybe this is the blend that proves me wrong. So why don't we jump into our review. In the meantime, if you can kindly leave a like down below, that would be greatly appreciated. Now, the last time I reviewed a blend, I didn't run through the little specs graph that I put up there because it was a budget blend. Didn't seem fair, but this is not a budget blend. We have a premium sort of like craft blend here. So we are gonna run through our specs. We have a 46% ABV, we have non-chill filtered, and it is naturally colored. So we're definitely not dealing with a traditional blend here. So I'll show you the color of our whiskey right here. That is a natural color. Um, I like these bottles. I like Compass Box bottles in general. Now this is the first one I've owned, but I always see them at the whiskey shop. They always have kind of like eye-catching designs. This one's no different. I like the little tree here. It's actually kind of embossed on the paper. Uh, your label itself, pretty simple, pretty stylish. You have non-chill filtered here. You have natural color. Tells you it's a blended malt. So presentation score is gonna be four out of five. I like the simple bottle. You can see the color of your whiskey. You can see the liquid level. I also like what's going on on the back here. Initially, it looks like a bunch of fluff. It looks really wordy, but it's kind of funny. It's actually just them throwing shade at the SWA for canceling them that first time around. So kind of funny. Yeah, overall, good looking bottle. I like the box as well. Looks good on the shelf. All right, let's check out our nose. So we're starting off pretty sherry forward, pretty sweet. You definitely have some rich, thick caramel notes in here. There's some honey, uh, maraschino cherries, um, cloves, baking spices. There's heather in here. There's some grass, maybe a hint of ginger as well. It's a very inviting, very rounded nose. Now for our palate. Oily, rich, and full. Very measured delivery here. Starts off with Christmas cake, um, some baking spices, still on that honey and that caramel. You have some herbs, you have some ginger, 
and you have some oak. Now the finish. Mm. So seamless transition from your palette into your finish here. Starts off with some nuttiness. You have icing sugar. There's some oak, some black pepper, still some cloves here, um, ginger definitely, bit of earthiness, and you have some orange zest. Now this is not a long finish, but smooth as silk. Now this is actually a bottle that I split with a friend. It was his idea to buy it, and I didn't fight him on it. I wasn't against the idea, but like I said, I am kind of a single malt snob, so it's probably not a bottle that I would have pulled the trigger on by myself. But I'll tell you what, I'm glad I picked it up. This is actually a really nice whiskey. Now, usually my biggest gripe with blends is that they taste blended. They taste blended out. They take on this sort of like generic profile that I don't find very interesting. Um, but luckily that's not the case. That didn't happen with this one. I think they got uh, their whiskey proportions right. They're definitely using some solid casks in here. This is not something that's lacking in character. What strikes me most about this whiskey is just how round and seamless it is from nose to palate to finish. Everything's really well composed, but you also have this kind of really seamless transition of flavors. This is gonna give you that sort of ease and accessibility that you want from a good blend, but it doesn't compromise those big interesting flavors that you want from a single malt. So my score here is gonna be 86. This is a really easy, really accessible whiskey. It's not something that's gonna challenge you, but it's also not lacking in character or complexity, which is always the concern when you're buying a blend. This is sherry forward, it's sweet, it's soothing. Personally speaking, I find it a very relaxing dram. This is something I might wanna enjoy after dinner, maybe as a nightcap, also something you could probably enjoy around the holidays. So Compass Box knows what they're doing. This is a very well composed whiskey. It's a very confidently composed whiskey. I feel like Compass Box throughout the entire production process knew exactly what they were doing. I think they achieved what they set out to achieve with this one. This is not a whiskey that hits like a blend. So if you're like me and you're dismissive of most blends, maybe try this one out. You never know, it might actually change your mind. But I mean, pushing aside the blend thing, just talking about this as a whiskey, this is a really nice whiskey. If you're a fan of sherry profiles, if you want something that's easy and accessible while still being interesting and engaging, try this one out, it's good. Now speaking in terms of value, I think this is pretty decent value. It is gonna be priced above most entry level single malts, but I think that's where it belongs. I think this is better than most entry level single malts. Like I said, this is my introduction to Compass Box and I'm impressed, it's a brand that I wanna explore more. Yes, it is a blend with a premium price tag, but I think it justifies that with its quality. Yeah. All right, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, do me a solid, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. You know I wanna hear from you, so have you tried Compass Box Spice Tree? What were your thoughts? And finally, down in the comments, let me know what you wanna see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my next video. Bye, guys.